Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, I thought I would share my first time ever reconstituting a freeze-dried meal. So a while ago, I freeze dried a sweet chili pork and cabbage stir fry. I have shared this recipe before on my channel. Um, I'll try to find one of the videos and link it up above where I show you guys the little recipe card. But I made a little bit too much and normally I just eat leftovers for like three days in a row. But I figured this kind of rice and pork and cabbage and carrot stir fry mix thing might be a good thing to freeze dry because usually you rehydrate rice anyways with water and I didn't think it would change the consistency too much when I reconstitute it. Now today in my fridge I don't have too many more leftovers and instead of trying to make a whole brand new dinner I just figured I'd go ahead and do this also because I have recently gotten better at my freeze drying process where I weigh the trays and really make sure all of the moisture has been taken out. Now with some of my strawberries and bananas that I packaged a couple of weeks ago, I decided, hey, you know, let me just go ahead and check how these guys are, you know, being stored because I didn't weigh their trays when I was taking them out. And some of them have a little bit like more softness to it. So that tells me that I left a little bit of moisture in my strawberries and apples. I don't know if I said bananas earlier. So that in, in some way caused me to worry about some of the other things that I freeze dried before I got into the habit of weighing my trays, putting them back into the freeze dryer, weighing them again, and making sure that there's no more change in the weight to make sure all of the moisture has been taken out. So since I didn't do that process, with this meal I figured I'd go ahead and use it now rather than hoping it lasts 20 years because if there's any moisture left in this batch which it is different from fruit fruit has a lot of moisture strawberries have moisture in the seeds so that's why they take a while this is probably fine it feels dry and crunchy on the inside so it's probably okay but just in case I figured I would go ahead and use this tonight for dinner now it feels like there's probably two servings in here and I don't know what Juan is gonna want to eat for dinner. So the nice thing is all I have to do is heat up water and pour it on half of the bags worth of food and that can be my meal and then I can seal this back up and if he wants it, I just open it up and add hot water to his thing and it'll be ready in maybe a minute or two. So let's go ahead and make my dinner. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just heat up some water. Then I'm gonna go ahead and open this bag. I'm gonna open it, well, I sealed it twice. I'll just open it here where it was gonna to be torn anyways. That'll have enough space to pour some back in. Okay, this is what it looks like. It's still very dry, so that's good. And I'm just gonna pour in, not the oxygen absorber, looks about like a good serving and then about the same amount in here. So I'm gonna throw the oxygen absorber back in and just seal this back up. But I don't know because I'm still learning at freeze drying and everything, I don't know how much water was taken out of this meal. So I'm gonna add a little bit of the hot water at a time until it looks like it's fully reconstituted. Now I think I could probably add cold water and let it reconstitute and then heat it up, but I think adding the hot water is the best way to go. And sorry for the noise, I have my freeze dryer running, I have my dishwasher running, so a lot going on in this house. So that's about a half a cup of water added in. And I'm just gonna go ahead and mix this up a little bit more get that meat in the liquid. And this was a saucy meal. So there was like a, you know, a type of kind of sauce when I made it. So if there's a little too much liquid, that's not gonna be the end of the world for me. But I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit to absorb some more and come back and see if it needs some more water. Okay, I've just been gone a couple minutes and most of the liquid has been reabsorbed. 
The rice still looks a little strange. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm gonna add probably just a little bit more water just in case. But so far it's looking okay. Like the meat's looking definitely more meaty. So let's add some more water and then give this a taste test. I don't even see where that water went. All right, let's add a little bit more. <laughs> I'm gonna do something weird, but it is my dinner, so oh well, my hands are clean. Got a piece of meat. It looks like juicy and looks like the meat I, I would expect would look like. It feels okay. Let me go wash my hands again and we'll give this a taste test. Okay, so sorry for, again for the loud noise. Um, upon looking at it, the rice looks whiter than normal. <laughs> if that sounds like it makes any sense at all. It looks like it's whiter than normal, but I can like smush it so it's not like hard and spongy like most freeze-dried food is before it's reconstituted. All right, enough stalling. Let's go ahead and give this a try. There was one part when I was chewing that seemed like maybe it hadn't got reconstituted, but everything else, the texture seemed fine. So temperature-wise, it's really not that warm. Uh, I think the, you know, pouring on the hot water, it cooled down while it was reconstituting. So I'm gonna heat this up a little bit more just so that it gets hotter. And then maybe that will also change how it, the texture is. Mostly the texture seems fine. There is a bit of a difference from how I remember it, like as a fresh meal. But I think that difference may also be that I'm missing two ingredients. A lot of the times I like to top this with some fresh green onions, which I have freeze dried. I just don't wanna deal with them right now. Uh, so I'm gonna chop up some fresh green onions and then also add, I think it's like dried onions or crispy, like the crispy little ones. I'm gonna put that on top too and then just see how that, you know, changes things up. So I forgot, they're called French fried onions. All right, the moment of truth. Aubrey's right here with me. It's definitely not bad. So, <laughs> so that last bite was a bigger piece of meat and I could kind of tell like the center of it was like slightly, maybe not fully reconstituted. I mean, that just tells me that I need to wait a little bit longer for everything to reconstitute. I do like heating it up again, making it like warmer was definitely nice. And there's not as much liquid in the bottom now too. I would have to have it side by side with like a fresh version of this to really tell the difference. But honestly, like this would be great for going out and camping and like, you know, just pouring on some hot water. Or if, you know, you can't go to the grocery store for some reason, natural disaster, anything like that. You know, this is a, it has veggies, it has protein, it has like the rice. It's a pretty healthy meal and it, like I said, it doesn't taste bad. You know what, I think that last bite, like texture wise, everything seemed normal. I think the only thing that really is missing is the sweet chili flavor. The one that I buy, in my opinion, is a little spicier than I'd like. Uh, ironically enough, it's sweet chili and I'm weak. But when I make it fresh, I kind of feel like the meal is a little bit more spicy. It's obviously not spicy, but to me and my sensitive taste buds it is, this doesn't feel like spicy at all. So there probably is a little bit of the flavor lost in the freeze drying process. But in some ways that's better for me because then I don't have to deal with, you know, that component of a fresh meal. Yeah, so after taking like another bite, I really think that's probably the only difference that I'm, I'm getting from this meal is that spicy component of the sweet chili sauce is just not as strong, but it's very good. The texture, it seems fine. And even though the rice looks more opaque than I would have expected it to, it doesn't taste um, or like feel any different 
than when you make it just like fresh and eat it then. So yeah, there you go. Here's my first reconstituted freeze-dried meal, pork stir fry. Other meals that I think I may make in the future just to meal prep, have on hand in case of an emergency or if I just feel like being lazy that night, I think would be like a sloppy joe because you pour the water in there, the meat only absorbs what it needs. And then, you know, you could just have a slightly more runny sloppy joe mixture if, you know, that's the case, if you added too much water in. And then if you guys have watched any of my other videos, you know that I have freeze-dried raw egg, so I could make just scrambled eggs in a pinch. I have also freeze-dried cooked chicken breast, and I plan on reconstituting that sometime in the future. Let me know if you guys are interested in seeing that. I can always film it for you guys. I've heard that it doesn't always have to be water that you add, so I could have added maybe some more chili sauce in the water to reconstitute it and that flavor would have been absorbed. So when I do my chicken breast, I might kind of combine water and barbecue sauce and make that like a really, you know, really watered down barbecue sauce to reconstitute my chicken in and that will just really absorb all those flavors. So those are some meals that like I could see meal prepping in that sense. But otherwise I think I'm just gonna be like an ingredient freeze dryer. So just like you freeze dry the ingredients, the apples, the strawberries, the veggies, and then, you know, just enjoy that as is. I just remembered, I just freeze dried my pork barbecue the other day, and that has a similar kind of consistency where it's like the lots of little pieces and they all get rehydrated and they, it might be a little bit runny when I make it fresh too. So things like that where it doesn't have to be completely like dry. I think those types of meals like work well. But anyways, if you guys found this video informational or, you know, interesting, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And if you guys are new here, I would love it if you stick around and subscribe. I don't always just do freeze drying stuff. I take care of all things mom. We got some birthdays, like our birthday season is coming up. So we will do some party preps and decorating and it's just gonna be a lot of fun. So I hope you guys stick around and I will catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.